The Eclipse enthusiasts taking their watch parties to a whole new level, more than 30,000 feet in the air. That's as NASA gears up to go even higher on a chase to help them learn more about the skies. Take a look at this. This morning, as millions prepare to watch the celestial event from the ground, some, like James Larunas, will be chasing it from the sky. I may be one of the few people that can see the eclipse uh, above the clouds. I'm super excited for, uh, for this flight. He snagged a ticket on one of two sold-out Delta flights set to fly along the path of totality tomorrow. Midway through the flight, uh, it's going to be timed where the pilots are going to do some sort of maneuver in the air so everybody on both the left side and the right side of the plane can have a glimpse of the eclipse. NASA will also be in on the action. Two WB-57 jet planes will head above the clouds at an altitude of 50,000 feet, chasing the eclipse shadow at 460 miles per hour, feeding it back live. We have three experiments flying on the WB-57s during the solar eclipse. There's an experiment that I'm leading, which is an instrument called SAMI, a suite of four scientific cameras that are going to be looking at the sun's outer atmosphere, the solar corona. Researchers looking at the clues the corona could hold to determine what creates solar wind, which is, according to NASA, the stream of charged particles coming from the sun that can cause auroras, but also potential threats to our satellites and astronauts. I took a photograph of the last great American eclipse in 2017. Photographer John Carmichael looking to match this iconic photo he took during the last eclipse when he traveled on a southwest plane. This time, he'll be on a private jet with legendary illusionist and aviation enthusiast David Copperfield. Have I chosen my seat? <laughs> um, I will be somewhere right here. Hoping to capture another epic photo of this upcoming eclipse, this time aiming higher. I am planning on accomplishing something that can only be done with an aircraft that's high enough. We're going to be at, what, 40, 49,000 feet? So I think 55. 55,000 feet above the clouds trying to capture that moon shadow. For Copperfield, it's his first eclipse. The gift I have is that I'm going to get a chance to see this with, you know, the best photographer of moon stuff ever, which is amazing, uh, and uh, be able to help him out a little bit too. So it's really, really, really great. All right, just amazing how high they're going to be up there. And I want to go ahead and take a look at that John Carmichael photo again from 2017. This has been called one of history's most amazing photos. So without a doubt, he is feeling the pressure this morning to outdo that. Back then, he took over 1,200 photos in just two minutes to capture that perfect shot. Amazing. But that shot is just unbelievable. So, Gio, this is your first eclipse. I know. What are you most looking forward to? You know, I, I want to see how it hits my soul, right? Yeah. Because we hear that it's such a a spiritual moment, right? Mm -hmm. That that you see this and we see the majesty of the universe at yeah. work and, and, and how it all comes together and the mystery of it too. Yeah. So I'm, I'm just looking forward to seeing how it hits my soul. Ooh, I know we're all like, it's so funny what we're talking about on TV, but we, we're really all going to be texting yeah, afterwards yeah. to be like, how was it? Did you cry? Did you cry? What are you looking forward to? Well, obviously, I, I get into the nerdy part of it all, yeah. the heightened period of solar of activity and the dynamic corona and whatnot. But to Gio's point, I'm also looking forward to that physical experience because it's not just what you see up there in the sky. It is truly what you feel. The atmosphere all around you changes. The temperature drops. It gets dark. The birds stop chirping. You actually feel the chills going through your body. And for me, I couldn't help but look up into the sky and you just marvel at this great big reminder that there are greater forces at play yeah. in the universe. And you wonder, oh, what is my tiny little role in all of this? And you get to share that experience with millions of people all across the country of different walks of life. And it's not just in the path of totality, but Janae, I know you're going to be in Florida. Yeah. I would encourage everyone to go out there and witness the partial eclipse as well. It's not the same as totality, right. but still you can but share in this special moment. I know my son is so excited. We're going to have our glasses and I'm sure it'll be extra special. Uh down there yeah. uh, at Disney too, but it's going to be so cool and I can't wait to I can't wait. We're circle gonna back after. It's going to be great. Yeah, yeah. Be the great. text chain is <laughs> going to be yes, crazy. Yes. Yeah. Coverage of the eclipse begins tomorrow morning on GMA, then continues at 1 p.m. with the main event starting at 2 p.m. Eastern, anchored by David Muir and Lindsay Davis, right here on ABC and all of our streaming. Geo is going to cry, though. I'm calling that right now. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, so are you, though. There, you, I might. You I are. Might. Yeah, I yeah, might. yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll be looking for the tears from you guys. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here. 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.